We always seek professional help for you to be able to select the right products and the right range of products and systems for your particular conditions. The main difference between paint applied to external walls and internal walls is the performance of those paints. Exterior paint, for instance, enhanced the aesthetic value of a building and is specially formulated with sunproof, rainproof and antifungus to withstand harsh weather conditions. On the other hand, interior paints make a space safe and comfortable. External walls are exposed to rain, and to sun and also the thermal stresses. And one of the other issues to do with external walls that we face in Malaysia is obviously issues with workmanship. And the fact that it's a high-rise building, it's very difficult to access them. So you can't do, you can't do periodic maintenance like, like you can do internal paint. It, it needs to be a system that once you apply it, you don't really want to go back to it for several years. Whereas the internal paint themselves do not are not exposed to the vigors of environmental forces. It's mainly exposed to wear and tear. So when you select a good external wall paint, it needs to take these few things into consideration. Number one is that the plaster is fresh. We are now moving towards providing a four coat system as opposed to a three coat system. Now the additional coat, uh, other than the primer or the sealer coat, is what we call by a bridging undercoat. Surface preparation and applying a sealer over surfaces are the key step to seal gaps, cross, joint and seams. So it's important for one to understand that given the kind of construction tolerances, construction sequences, the choice of coatings can range between a three coat system to a four coat system depending on circumstances. You cannot be using the, the wall paint, which is the acrylic wall paint for, for surfaces like that. A timber would definitely benefit from uh, using a timber wood varnish and, and they, they have a different level of performance on also on the different types of wood species that are eventually being used. Timber is particularly uh, unique is because you need to do it a little bit more often than external walls. First of all, specify great one timber, timber of good quality, you know. Now the wood has to be sufficiently dry in the first place before you even use it for the construction site. It has to have uh, proper sanding and proper surface preparation. Now you need to follow the, the different uh, coating, uh, uh, coating criteria of different manufacturers. Most of them will require you to apply a very thin base layer before you apply uh, uh, different layers of, of varnish over it. In principle, try to apply more layers of thin coats over a very thick layer of slab over a very thick layer of, of coating. I mean obviously stainless steel and galvanizing is, is the way to go but not all projects may have that uh, affordability to go for stainless steel or even uh, uh, pre-galvanized uh, uh, steel. So if you have a welded steel for handrails and uh, balconies and so forth, those are the kind of steels that you need to properly treat. Brush out all the, the rusty bits and all the bits that are loose to, to brush it out. Apply a good layer of primer on it and then you apply two coats of Elkit based top coats on these paints. The main challenges with painting of a new building is actually being able to ensure that you can still apply uh, the paint that, that you have specified on the surface that is not going to be adulterated or coated with some other products that are that has spilt on it, for example. Having been able to control all of that, having been able to mitigate this or, or protect all of this here, one of the main the challenges that we always have is actually adulteration. We find that undercoat, primer coats are the one that gets adulterated the most. And it takes a very, very, very trained and experienced person to know whether that adulteration is happening. When people are chasing cost, uh, and there's always a motivation for people to dilute the paint. People say, tambah ae, tambah kapo, and all these things. Now, this happens, we all know. If you, so supervision becomes very important. 
And lastly, obviously, always seek professional help uh, for you to be able to select the right products and the right range of products and systems for your particular conditions. You may contact us at architectcenter.com.my. Thank you for watching. You may subscribe and follow us at our channel.